That's a solar eclipse, not a monster. But don't look at it with your bare eyes. Uh, why, Dr. Hoot? Do you want to know what it is? Let knowledge click! Usually, sunlight comes straight to Earth, but sometimes the moon moves in front and blocks the sun. That's a solar eclipse. It's like when I make shadows on the wall with a flashlight, right? Mm -hmm. That's right! <laughs> There are three types of solar eclipse. Total eclipse, partial eclipse, ring-shaped eclipse, cone annular eclipse. Wow! So, what are these glasses for, Dr. Hood? On a normal day, if you happen to glance at the sun, your pupil gets tiny because the light is so bright. That helps protect your eyes. During a solar eclipse, the sun looks dim, so your pupils stay wide. It feels safe to look, but the sun's harmful rays are still there. Those rays can really hurt your eyes. It's like using a magnifying glass to burn paper. Your eyes can handle that. That's why you need these special glasses. So, what if we don't have these glasses? Mm. You can use the pinhole projector. The sunlight goes through a tiny hole and shows the eclipse on the paper. You look at the paper, not at the sky. They block almost all the strong rays from the sun. We got it! <laughs> Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel. Where does the wind come from? Oh, I'll explain to you. Let knowledge click. Wind starts with the sun, Wufu. Really? The sunlight hits the air on Earth, but not evenly. When the sun shines, the warmer air rises up into the sky. Then cooler air from the other places rushes in to fill the empty space. And just like that, the wind begins to blow. But the wind just blew away our cake and picnic <laughs> mat. It didn't help at all. Oh no, Wufu. Wind can help people in many ways. Look! The wind helped oh. Sobo travel across the ocean. <laughs> the wind can make electricity for the whole village. And the wind lets us play super fun games too. Wind is helpful, but strong wind can also be dangerous. So tell me, kids, what should you do to stay safe on a very windy day? Run and play when it's windy. Stay under big strong trees. Keep away from things that might blow away. Why does it rain? I'll tell you why. Let knowledge click. When it's sunny, the heat makes water from rivers and lakes evaporate. That means it's turned into tiny water drops and go up into the sky. As the drops go higher, they meet cold air. Then they stick together and make clouds. When the clouds get too heavy, they can't hold the water anymore. The drops fall down to the ground. That's called rain. Some of the rain goes into the ground and becomes underground water. 
That's called the water cycle. But how can we know when it's going to rain? When the water drops in the cloud gather together, they block the sunlight. That's why the clouds look darker. It's like thin glass is clear, but thick glass looks dark. Clouds work the same way. Oh, so mm. the darker the clouds, the more it's going mm -hmm. to rain? Exactly. Dark clouds are a warning. Big rain is coming. Run inside or bring a raincoat or umbrella if you need to go out. We got it! Mm. It's dangerous out there! The tornado is coming with you! Uh, a tornado? Hmm. Let's talk about tornadoes, shall we? Let's knowledge! Click! Tornadoes usually begin with a thunderstorm or a storm. Warm air goes up into the clouds, and cooler air comes down. This makes the air spin around, forming rotating air currents. If the spinning air gets strong enough, its pointy part can touch the ground and turn into a tornado. But I still want my ball back. Mm, tornadoes are way more dangerous than you think. As the tornado moves, it can destroy everything in its parts and cause severe damage. Most tornadoes only last about 10 minutes. During that time, make sure to find a way to keep yourself safe. When a tornado occurs, quickly seek shelter in an underground bunker or a sturdy building to ensure safety. If you cannot get to a shelter, hide under a table and stay away from windows. Got it! <laughs> wow! What's that colorful robe? It's a rainbow. Oh. Hmm. Did you know what it is? Let knowledge click! White sunlight splits into many colors when it passes through water. That's wow. called dispersion. What colors can you see? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Ah. Oh no! The rainbow is fading. Rainbows won't stay for long. Mm. Rainbows only appear when sunlight and tiny water drops are both in the sky. When the sun goes away or the drops dry up, the rainbow disappears too. Uh. Do you want to make a rainbow? <laughs> A real rainbow. Why is this one a circle? Rainbows are actually full circle. But because you see them from the ground, you can only see a half of it. I want to have one more. You're making double rainbow. Wow. A double rainbow happens when sunlight bounces twice inside a raindrop. It makes two rainbows. The second one is lighter and the colors go the other way around. Can a rainbow ever be upside down like this? Yes! Sometimes you might see an upside down rainbow. It happens when sunlight bends through tiny ice crystal high up in the sky. It makes a rainbow that curves up like a big smile in the sky. We got it! Yeah.